Hey guys, this is uh, Corey from the Android Central Forums, and if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to root your Thunderbolt using a Mac. And if you're having problems uh, with getting uh, commands to work and things like that, you probably put the files that I have you download in the wrong uh, place. And I've been thinking about it, and I think it's uh, probably because a lot of you using uh, Google or Firefox or maybe some download manager, or even you're using Safari, and you're specifying to download files uh, to a location that doesn't match up with this procedure. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to download those files and get them in the right place. Uh, the first one is this SDK uh, zip file uh, that uh, is bundled with some other files that are needed to root your device. Uh, so it's important that you use this one uh, and not the one that, that you download from Google. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on this link uh, I uploaded it to multi-upload, so you have a number of options as far as uh, which site you use to uh, download the file. Um, I would just use multi-upload. Uh, it's very fast, and uh, you don't have to wait for any timers to pass or anything like that. Um, so if you use multi-upload, uh, what you can do is right-click on this button here that says direct download. And there's some different options for saving, but the one that you need is this download link file as. Okay, really important, not the one above it, but the one right below it that says download link to file as. If you click on that, it brings up a window and it allows you to choose where to put the file. And for the procedure to work properly, it needs to go in the Macintosh HD folder. So just select that drive off to the left and then go ahead and say uh, save and it's gonna download it fairly quickly. Um, yeah, this, this is why I really like uh, multi-upload. Okay, and when it's done, uh, you're going to right-click on it and you're gonna say show in Finder. Okay, and then when you do that, you're gonna see the zip uh, right where it needs to be. So we're gonna extract everything in it by double clicking on it uh, and they're automatically going to be placed uh, again where they need to be. It's in the Macintosh HD. Uh, you can still see your zip there and then you can see it uh, unzipped right above it. If I expand the arrow and go in here and look uh, further, I'm going to see a tools folder and if I expand that I'm going to see uh, ADB which is the uh, program we're going to use to push files to the Thunderbolt and do things that are necessary to, to get through the procedure. So that's exactly where that uh, needs to be. We've uncompressed it to the right place. Uh, we can uh, go ahead and close this and we can close this guy as well and close this one. And then we're gonna go back to, uh, to the procedure here. So we did step one. Uh, step two is to uh, double click the, the zip to extract it and we did that. Um, the third step is to download this uh, PG05 IMG downgrade.zip. And basically this is a, uh, a zip that's gonna be used to flash the device um, to a version that is, uh, was, was on the phone prior to it being released. So this isn't the final build of the software, but we need to downgrade it in order to root. So that's the general idea uh, behind this file. So what you're gonna do is click on that and it's gonna take you back to multi-upload. Uh, again, there's some different buttons here uh, that you can push depending on which site you wanna use. Again, I would recommend just using uh, multi-upload. Uh, right click on it. Go to uh, download uh, linked file as. And again, it brings up this window. Now I have my Thunderbolt plugged in and you can see to the computer and you can see that uh, the USB card shows up to the left, uh, which is great. Uh, I can just select that and click on save. And I'm not gonna do that because uh, it is a big file and it, it'll take uh, a little bit too long. Um, but again, it goes really fast uh, in, uh, in multi-upload. So you need, to down you need to load that or download that directly onto your SD card. Okay, you can put it in other places, but this is gonna make it uh, very simple. Okay, so once it's on there, we're actually gonna minimize that. Um, we're gonna assume that it is. I already uh, downloaded it, and so we'll just pretend like I just downloaded it directly. Um, but what we wanna do now, at least for this, uh, this first part of the procedure, I'm gonna close that, this upper part, is we need to uh, do step four. We need to rename it. 
So to do that, uh, I'm gonna go back here to rename a file on a Mac. Uh, you're gonna select it, okay, uh, by clicking once on the left mouse button, and then you're gonna click it again. It's gonna highlight everything before the .zip. You wanna leave that part of it and just click the right arrow, okay, to get the cursor right after the E, and then just backspace all the way, get rid of that underscore, and then pull your cursor away from that file and just click once. Okay, so now it's renamed, it's what it needs to be. Um, after we've used it, which is a little further down in the process, you need to either delete it or you can move it to a full, I created a folder called downgrade. Okay, so I can move it there for safekeeping later on. Okay, so one of the two. But uh, you're gonna need to get rid of it because you're gonna put a new copy of that on your SD card. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that for now. Um, now, since we uh, since since I've started this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to, to use uh, ADB. The first thing that it has you do is, uh, now in my case, I already have the Thunderbolt plugged in, uh, so a lot of these steps here are irrelevant, um, but it has you uh, plug your Thunderbolt in, it has you turn on USB debugging, um, all this stuff here, and once you're done, the next thing it wants you to do is open up a uh, terminal. So to do that, you go to uh, applications, and then you scroll down to uh, utilities, and then you're going to go down to terminal and click on that, okay, and it's going to open up this window here. Now, this is where we're going to use the ADB um, program, okay, to push out files and do things like that. So to make this very simple, what I'm going to do is just drag the bottom of my Safari window over to resize it. I'm gonna put my terminal window here. Actually, I'm gonna put it kind of in the middle. And I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna do the first few steps by just typing them in. Okay, there is spaces there between the CD and the dots. Uh, then I'm gonna do CD and star. Okay, that's gonna put me in this SDK folder. And I'm gonna do S, uh, CD tools. And if I list uh, the contents of that folder out, just do an ls, uh, you're gonna see that uh, the ADB uh, program is right there where we need to be, okay? And now we're in business. The next thing I have you do uh, is I want you to verify that your, uh, your Thunderbolt is actually connected uh, and USB debugging and all that is turned on. And so what you do is you type in dot, slash, no spaces, ADB, again, no spaces, and then hit the space bar and type in devices. Okay, it's gonna list a, uh, all the devices that are attached, and this little piece right here is important. That's my Thunderbolt. And it's gonna bring you back to uh, this, this command prompt. Um, so, after that, what you're gonna do, uh, and this is what I recommend, uh, I wouldn't type all this in unless you're unless you want to um, but what I would do is just go back to the procedure uh, in the window here and I would just select all the text including that dot okay don't forget the dot or it won't work but don't highlight the dollar sign now I'll do a command C in this window then go back to terminal and do a command V okay and then hit return and what it's going to do is it's going to um, push that file to the device. So it's like a copy and paste sort of thing. Okay, and you're gonna see some progress right here. And if you don't see that, then and you see an error or something like that, something's gone wrong. So we're gonna do that for every step along the way. And again, you can, you can copy and paste, or you can type it out, doesn't matter, but you're, you're more likely to get it right if you just copy these uh, line by line. So, uh, so that's it. That's how you use terminal. Uh, and you know, some of you experts out there, I know you're probably wondering why I, I do .adb instead of going to sh into shell and doing some of this other stuff. This is more for uh, just just for consistency and to make it easy, especially on newer people. Um, I just went ahead and did it this way all the way through. Uh, now, when you get down, so you're going through this, you're going through this, and you get to here. And some people are freaking out when they get to this step because your phone reboots into a white screen. Uh, it's, you know, it's bootloader is highlighted in blue. You press the power button to get it going. 
um, the screen changes and you see fast boot and it says that for and then you see some image like some warnings about it being a bad image and all that stuff don't worry about that um, about 10 5 10 seconds later it's going to go to this step here it's going to uh, it's going to look at uh, several files uh, or you'll see several files loaded and checked uh, again don't freak out at these warnings um, You'll eventually, those will eventually clear and it'll say uh, checking uh, this pd05img.zip. And that's the file we, do we downloaded up above and we renamed. Okay, so you're going to do that. Um, then it's going to ask you if you want to start the update. Uh, you're going to press the volume button to say yes. And once you do that, you're going to be sitting there for a while and you're going to see this progress bar in the upper right corner and you're going to see it uh, changing colors and going up and down and that's good. Um, just be patient. It takes five to ten minutes. Uh, once it's done, it'll tell you and it'll have you press the power button to reboot. And then you're going to be back here again and you're going to um, uh, get to the files part and you're going to uh, either delete that file that we downloaded earlier or uh, push it into that downloads folder like I, I suggested. Or what's it called? Ah, that's my mail. Uh, let me close that. <laughs> yeah, too late. Ah, there we go. Um, all right, so either that or move it into this. Uh, go back here. Move it into this downgrade folder. So the the point is, you want to get it out of here, the root the root um, folder of the SD card. Um, so you're going to download this, and you're going to do it the exact same way. So right click, go download link file as, and you're going to go back to your SD card, and you're going to click on save, and it's going to put it right here. And so that way, when you get to this step down here, where it has you reboot into bootloader, and it goes into bootloader again, and it starts flashing the file, it's flashing the right thing, not the old one, but the new one. Okay, so that is, in essence, that's everything you need to, you need to know. Um, be sure and read the credits at the bottom. I didn't do any of this hacking or come up with any of these files. I'm very familiar with uh, the ADB, how to use the ADP program and how to push files and change permissions and all that kind of stuff. And I'm, I, I'd like to say I'm pretty good at writing procedures as well. So basically I took all the stuff that uh, would not be possible without these guys, and I made a procedure out of it. So be sure and uh, take a look at this down below. All right, uh, thanks a lot, and uh, if you have any more questions, post them. Don't PM them, but.